You got to be able to recognize what's being tested here. Yes, it's verbs, but it's more important than that. It's verb agreement. It's those singulars and plurals. Just look at those answer choices before you dive into the question. And the answer is so obvious, right? Was is singular. Has is singular. Reveals is singular. Reveal is plural. What do you think the answer is going to be? Probably D. Now let's confirm that, right? We're not just going to move on. We're going to confirm it, but what are we looking for? We're looking for a plural subject, and there's probably going to be some singular subjects along the way as well, but it's about finding the right subject, and this time, because we kind of know what to expect, we're less likely to fall for that trap. So let's see. It's about this sentence here. Such quotidian objects, depicted in exquisite detail by, by Vermeer, a painter celebrated for his naturalism, reveal the daily minutia of a 17th century Dutch household. There's a lot of tough words in there, but it's objects. Such quotidian objects reveal the daily minutia. And so there you go. If I just highlight the sentence, such quotidian objects reveal the daily minutia of a 17th century Dutch household, that's the sentence. The other parts here, you can see these commas, they are inserting a bunch of interruptions, right? First, depicted in exquisite detail by Vermeer is an interruption describing the objects. Then, a painter celebrated for his naturalism is in a positive interrupting and describing Vermeer, right? So we have two descriptors here, but neither of them are really gonna be part of the sentence, and so neither of them can contain the subject of the sentence. So Vermeer is not the subject, a painter is not the subject, naturalism is not the subject, we can kinda of ignore all that. So hopefully you saw that, right? I mean, the idea would be that if, if you really understood this rule, you wouldn't have to rely on these little tricks of like looking at the answer choices and categorizing them and getting it right based on that. But, hey, take a win, right? Like, I mean, if it's going to be this way where it's this kind of like three versus one situation, right? Three of one type, one of the other, you know, and the one is usually the right answer. Just see, at least think about that that way. So that way you're, you know, trying to prevent a mistake. It really kills me when people get these questions wrong because it's really simple. Just know this happens a lot and at least you've got a leg up. Now, it won't always happen, but it's at least a start. So you got to take a win when you can get one.